गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द सेशन थर्टी टू फ्रॉम दी प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ आई डी जे मेन्स पार्ट टू एंड द टॉपिक फॉर दिस सेशन इज मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन एंड आई टेक इन दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस सेशन विच वॉज आस्ट इन दी ऑल इंडिया इंजीनियरिंग एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन इन ए आई ट्रिपल ई एंड the purpose of taking this question is uh, that uh, this question is uh, is typically of the um, a level of dip uh, difficulty which can be compared to what is normally asked in the iit uh, mains uh, examination so uh, here a current in the in this question a current i is flowing in an uh, infinite long wire having having a semi circular cross section of radius r so this is uh, a semi circular a uh, semi circular wire um, and uh, a current i is uh, flowing uh, in this uh, semi circular uh, wire and the uh, radius uh, of this semi circular wire is capital r so we have to find the magnitude of the magnetic induction along its axis so there are four options here so in order to save the time i have already drawn here one figure in which uh, i have shown this uh, semi circular uh, infinite uh, long wire which is having a um, radius of in this capital r okay so now um here what we can do is that in order to find the magnetic induction along its axis um we can first of all consider this uh, infinite long wire to be made up of a large number of a very very a uh, thin wires so that's what i have written here consider the wire to be made of large number of thin wires of thickness i have taken the thickness as dl and which is subtending an angle d, d theta at the center now the uh, in a semi uh, um this semi circular um uh, ring the total angle in a semi circular uh, this wire will be equal to 180 degrees so if the current which is flowing in this wire is i take okay, now i'm just considering the direction of the current to be in this like as indicated by this arrow so by using the uh, fleming's uh, right hand thumb rule we can say that the direction if, if the current for example the current is flowing in this direction which is indicated by this thumb then these uh, folded fingers will be giving with the direction of the magnetic field so if i am just taking any uh, one uh, thin wire of thickness dl let us say i am just taking this this thin wire of let's say thickness dl then the magnetic field will be directed like this in this direction okay i am just denoting this as db so um, now in a semi circular uh, wire the uh, total uh, ang uh, the Uh, the total uh, angle in degrees is equal to 180 and this is equal to pi in radians it is equal to pi so since the current i is flowing in this semi circular wire therefore if i am considering a thin wire of thickness dl then the current uh, through this uh, wire that is of thickness dl this can will be equal to um since 180 degree or you can say pi radian is corresponding to current of magnitude i so we can say that the current uh, which will be flowing in this uh, thin wire of uh, this thickness uh, dl uh, and which is subtending an angle d theta at the center this will be given as uh i divided by pi into d theta now uh the magnetic field magnetic field due to uh, this uh, thin wire this will be let us say this is db this will be equal to mu 0 upon 2 pi um uh 
uh, I upon R is a formula. Uh, the magnetic field due to this thin wire uh, dB will be equal to mu zero upon two pi I upon R. Now I here is equal to uh, this is I am just denoting as dI. So dI will be so this is equal to I upon pi d theta divided by R. The actual formula is basically the the formula here is mu naught upon two pi i upon r. So here the value of i is i d theta upon pi i d theta upon pi and uh, this divided by r. So so the magnetic field to do this thin wire at the center will be given by this formula. Now we have to find the uh, uh, this uh, the magnitude of the magnetic induction along the axis. So, so now here uh, I just consider one element. Uh, I have considered a thin wire of thickness dl, which is subtending an, an angle d theta at the center. So the uh, this. Uh, <coughs> magnetic field due to this thin wire along the axis will be equal to along this axis will be equal to mu naught upon 2 pi i d theta pi r into cos theta now If I consider, see, uh, I am just, uh, if you um, consider this uh, uh, this cross section here, so uh, if I am taking this point uh, at, as the origin, then this will be, uh, if this, this is the point of origin of this uh, uh, x and y, uh, this uh, Cartesian frame of ref reference consi consisting of x and y uh, axis, then uh, then, then let, let us say I am just drawing it here with the help of a dotted line like this. So, I am just considering this point as A and this B. So, I have to basically integrate this uh, value between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 mu naught upon 2 pi i d theta upon pi r cos theta. So if I uh, just integrate this value, I will be able to find the magnitude of the magnetic induction at the along the axis. So uh, this is equal to b and here mu naught 2 pi, uh, this pi r and i are constant, so I will be just taking it out, mu naught i divided by 2 pi square r and uh, this would be equal to now uh, cos theta, now the uh, integration of cos theta is sin theta, so this is equal to sin theta and it will be the limits will be from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So the magnitude of the magnetic induction along the axis will be equal to mu naught i upon 2 pi square r. Uh, this will be equal to sine uh, pi by 2 minus minus will become plus sine pi by 2. So this uh, the value of the uh, this magnetic induction along the axis will be equal to mu naught i divided by 2 pi square 2 pi square r and sine pi by 2 is 1 so 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 and uh, yes so this is equal to this 2 and 2 will get cancelled out and the we, I will be getting the answer as mu naught i divided by pi square so the uh, magnitude of the magnetic induction along the axis is equal to mu naught i divided by pi square r. 
So, mu naught i divided by pi square r. So, the correct option here is d. So, uh, I hope you have understood the solution of this question. The only important thing here is that we have to consider the, this wire to be made of large number of thin wires or <coughs> thickness dl and uh, I have considered the that this uh, thin wire of thickness dl is subtending an angle d theta at the center. So, and then what we have done is we have found the the uh, magnitude of the this uh, magnetic field due to this thin wire and thereafter we have integrated it uh, within the limits of minus pi by 2 to this uh, pi by 2 in order to uh, get the uh, total magnitude of the magnetic induction uh, along the axis. So thank you very much for joining this session and in the next session I will be continuing uh, with the same uh, uh, this uh, chapter that is the uh, magnetic effect of the current and uh, I will be coming up with a different question probably from uh, what, have, what, what has been asked in the IIT mains examination. So till then have a nice day. Bye.